Good evening everybody and welcome to day 15 of our 40 days of Lent prayer. We hope that you are enjoying the prayer times that we're gathering together every evening at nine o'clock apart from Sundays. We hope you're enjoying uh, the prayer times. Uh, we're trying to use different people, um, some from the church and some from outside of the church to lead us in prayer. We've decided that family uh, night will be a Friday night. Um, we tend to watch a movie with our boys on a Friday or play games with a Friday and Friday, but it's become a family night for us. So we're taking that into our Lent prayers. And on a Friday, we will be praying for our church family. Um, so if you have prayer requests, then you can put them into the chat box um, and we'll pray for them. Um, and we'll do that next week and the week after and so on until our Lent prayer series closes Friday. will be family evening. We do encourage you to share uh, this with uh, other people who come to the church, with your friends uh, who come to the church and uh, get them to be involved too. I'm going to read a passage of scripture from uh, Colossians 4. It's just a few uh, words this evening from one of the verses. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 says this, Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. That's something we are doing right now, devoting ourselves to prayer, to be a people who God, uh, a people of God who both listen and speak to him. So we're going to begin this evening by giving, giving him thanks and praise in worship. Uh, and then we're going to pray for our church family and do use the chat bars on both Facebook and YouTube um, as appropriate. <laughs> Lord, we invite you this evening to speak into our hearts at the end of for what many of us will have been a busy week. We still our hearts and we invite you, Lord God, to come and to speak. So as I uh, sing this song, why don't you just close your eyes and allow the Lord to come and to minister to you as we prepare to pray for our church family. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart. light to the darkness you give hope you restore every heart that is broken great are you Lord it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise Pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great. Oh 
Fall out of grace to you, O me. Great are you, Lord. The Bible says, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So I wonder if you would this evening type into the chat bar something you choose on to thank God for. Just a word or a sentence. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for your grace, for your mercy, for your love. Great are you, Lord, we declare that you're great. Great are you, Lord, yes you are, yes you are. God, we give you thanks and praise this evening that you are indeed great and greatly to be praised. As we worship you, as we listen, as we pray, would you be present with us? Would you draw closer than a brother? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. This evening, I've been through our, uh, our attenders and regular members list and have a few people who I'd like us to pray for this evening. Um, and if you would like us to pray for somebody, then you can type that into the chat bar and pray for them via chat this evening. You see, God sees our chat on as much as he does our, our voices. So let's pray together. God, this evening I want to start by giving you thanks. By giving you thanks for what you're doing in our midst. For the things which we see and the things which we don't see. I want to give you thanks that you have been at work in the basement. We want to give you thanks that you've been present in the in that place. We want to give you thanks this evening for the people who've been faithfully serving you in different ways in this lockdown. We want to give you thanks for our prayer course and thanks for Alpha course and thanks for those who who've been buddying up and praying together. We want to give you thanks for our eldership team who've been doing so much work behind the scenes in uh, enabling our church to function. We want to give you thanks for people who've been giving financially, for, for people who've been serving in different ways in this time. Lord, we want to give you thanks and praise for each person uh, who uh, attends or is a member of Darlington Baptist Church. We want to give you thanks and praise this evening because you are at work in our midst and we're excited about what you are doing. Lord, there are also a number of people who are going through new phases in their life. Uh, we pray this evening for those who've just moved home, for Hazel and Judith who've just moved and Daniel and Adina who moved not long ago and for Peter Linney. Lord, people who have new neighbours, we pray that there will be a blessing in those localities, those new places where you've placed them. Would you bless Hazel and Judith, bless Daniel and Adina and Sarah, bless Peter as they seek to serve you in their new locations. I want to pray for those with new babies in their families. Thank you for, for, for those two new lives who we're thinking of, for, for Morven and Rob's uh, new one and for Ian and Helen's little one. Thank you, Lord, um, for, for baby Esther and for baby Ewan. Lord, would you be with them uh, as they grow? Would you develop them in body, mind and spirit so they grow up to know you and to love you? Thank you for Ian and Helen and for their parenthood um, for Alan and Helen and their grand grandparenthood, for, for Morven and for Rob, and for the way in which they will bring up you. And Lord, we pray a blessing to be upon those babies and those families today. And we're also aware that the, as there is some new life, there has been some loss of life too. And Lord, we pray for Jan and for Joan as they mourn the loss of their loved ones. We pray that you would hold them in the hollow of your hand. 
We pray for those who are readjusting to life without loved ones over this last little while. We're thinking of maybe Anne Warner and Liz War, Alf Ryman, Yvonne Jones and there'll be others who've lost loved ones over this last little while and are still readjusting to life. Lord, would you by your spirit comfort today? If there's anybody who you'd like to raise in prayer on that front, just write their names in the chat bar. We're praying today for those who have loved ones in difficult moments. We pray for Trisha's mum in Scotland, that you would be with her, and that you would open the doors for the appropriate care for Trisha's mum. For Emma's mum in South Africa, we lift her to you and ask you for you continue to, to see her to a place of well-being. We pray for Ruth's dad, Tom, whose birthday it was this week, who turned 94. Lord, would you bless Tom Ward today, we pray. We pray for Lynn Bean's family members, Bob and Pat, who are both over 80 and their carers have tested positive for coronavirus. We pray for protection for Bob and Pat today in Jesus' name. If there's anybody else who you'd want us to pray for, write their names in the chat bar. God sees that. We pray for our doctors and our health workers, for Josiah, for Bola for Deborah, for Jude, for Johan, for Ruth, and for many others who work in the healthcare sector. We pray for our carers, for Mirella. Lord, that you be with each of those people who are in a caring capacity. Would you protect them and keep them safe today in Jesus' name. Any other doctors, healthcare workers, carers you want to raise in prayer, please again type their names in as God would hear that prayer. We pray for our teachers going back uh, to school with their with with children this week. Some have been working fully hard, fully with um, or lots of children already in their school. We know that's been the case for Gillian, and we pray for Gillian today and for any other um, people in our congregation who work in schools. Would you give them everything that they need to get through this next little while as all the children go back to school? We pray for the children themselves, that as they go back to school this week with maybe a little bit of anxiety, maybe a little bit of worry, would you be with each child this week as they go back to school and each parent who sends them in this new phase as lockdowns are lifted slightly, Lord would you be present in our education this week. And then there are just some names of maybe some older people in, in our fellowship who I just want to raise before the Lord. And um, if there are others who uh, whose, whose names aren't read out, then that's that. you could just put their, na their names in the chat bar. Lord, we raise before you Isabel and Russell, Isabel Senior, Janet and Peter, David and Sylvia, Yvonne Armstrong, Tony and Val, Mel and Pat, Heather, Jen and George, Christine Fleming, Gwyneth Johnston, Helen Johnston, Lillian Kennedy, Andy Rymel, George Coulter, Doreen Steele. Lord, there are many others who would just need your touch this evening. But we lift those people and all of our membership and attenders into your hands asking you to move upon these people by the power of your spirit, asking you to be their sustainer, their provider, their guide. And Lord, as we're praying for our church family, we pray this evening that you continue to help us to put the appropriate people in the appropriate places, to listen to your discernment of call for different roles within the fellowship. And we pray for a financial blessing from you too. Lord, we understand that this year has been tough for everyone and it's been tough for the church too. So Lord, we ask that your provision would be forthcoming. We know you are Jehovah Jireh. We heard last week that you're the God who sees to it. Would you see to all of the needs of the church and the church family? 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So next week, if uh, there's a list of people's prayer requests, that'd be really good. And Vicky and I will pray for people uh, by name next week, those who've raised their prayer requests for us. We will gladly do that. Now, as we draw to a close this evening, we're going to worship again. We're going to sing a song, uh, Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Build your kingdom, build your kingdom here. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray, unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very soul. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. We are your church. We need your power in us. We seek your kingdom first. We hunger and we thirst. Refuse to waste our lives. For you're our joy and prize. To see the captive hearts released. The hurt, the sick, the poor at peace. We lay down our lives for heaven's cause. We are your church. We pray revive this earth. Build your kingdom here. Let the darkness be. Show your mighty hand. Heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire. Win this nation back. Send an atmosphere. Build your kingdom here. We pray. Unleash your kingdom's power. Reaching the near and far. No force of hell can stop. Your beauty changing heart. You made us for much more than this. Awake the kingdom seed in us. Fill us with the strength and love of Christ. We are your church. We are the hope on earth. church we pray may we be your ambassadors may we be your vessels may we be people who are sold out for seeing your kingdom uh, advancement in in darlington and the surrounding regions amen shall we say the words of the grace together may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all evermore amen please do join us again tomorrow evening where Jane's going to be leading us in prayer. God bless.